It's terrible. Don't eat this brownie. I don't want to swallow. Don't even eat that brownie. Yo, I feel as if I have a thousand different movie lines lined up for today. We're gonna start it off with one very popular bold strategy cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So bold strategy cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I'm extremely vocal about athletes selling out. I made a video like three days ago about it. Part of me wants to wonder if that's got something to do with people probably not wanting to reach out to me for some sponsorship deals. It's entirely okay by me. The only things that I want to support are the things that I think are actually worth supporting. I work with Vindicate, I work with California Hormones. I work with Vindicate because he sent me a logo way early on. It was the Bat logo. And then we put together the entire no rep thing together. And from there, it's been onwards and upwards. California Hormones has been something that I've been curious about since before I even started the YouTube channel. My first video, really, one of my first videos, CrossFit and steroids, everything you need to know. It's got 100,000 views. In that thing, you'll hear me say that I was terrified to take them. And part of the reason that I was terrified was because I didn't have a doctor that would oversee me. Now I've got it. Now I'm partnered with them. You know that entire deal. But other than that, kind of radio silence, and that's okay. The bold strategy though, is just sending me products, hoping that I'm going to talk about them. Which brings me to this, the gains box. As I turn this thing around, I can hear there's some sort of liquid in here, and there's a various amount of stuff in here. Why is it a bold strategy to send Andrew a gains box? Well, I'm going to open it, show you what's inside of it, and I'm not gonna hold any punches back. If I don't like something, or I think it's stupid, I'm gonna let you know. It's cotton! Because if I just like, woo woo, foo foo, everything that comes out of this thing, one, you know that it's not the truth, and two, there's a huge level of hypocrisy within that. So no money has exchanged hands. This thing, you can go to their website and you'll see that it is $100. You can buy a quarter of the subscription. I have heard good things about this box in the past. When I was at the affiliate, when I've spoken with people outside of the affiliate who have had the Gains Box subscription, they've said good things. My honest opinion on it is that very similar to what I said about people who would walk up to my affiliate. If you came up and you were trying to give me a water dispenser and I wasn't already looking for one, there's a good chance that I wouldn't want it. But there are people out there that are not like that. Those are the people who like to buy certain things that maybe they didn't even know were out there to which there is an avenue for this thing to be beneficial it's gonna be tough on you guys so let's get after it let's see it's like a shoe box it's kind of heavy got this freaking knife you're gonna put it to use put towards yourself andrew all right here we go Right on the top is a collaborator piece of paper. Talking points, unboxing of the Q1 games bo Gains box. I suppose I'm already doing that. Discussion of key features of the box that the influencer loves. I guess that would be me. Be creative and genuine in your content. That I sure as shit can do. Be true and authentic in your review of the products in the box. 100%, let's rock and roll. So far we're off to a good start. Telling me to be authentic. What is this? A pair of shorts. What do they look like? A pair of shorts. They are extremely thin. They're by Otaku. I don't know if you can see that. Otaku. Uh, they kind of remind me of those gym shorts you would wear in grade school or high school. And believe it or not, I'm actually a big fan of that type of short. I don't like the built-in underwear like Lululemon. I don't like Viore. But something about this fabric where it's not anything over the top, I do like it. Will they fit? I don't freaking know. Do I got to put them on? Sure, fuck it. I was going to bring this thing with, but uh, yeah, this is what came as far as the shorts are concerned. They're a medium, I'm a medium. They ride up, they're short. I like short shorts, we all know that. I haven't worn these compression shorts in almost like five years, but I found them this morning. They were clean in the clean drawer, so I threw them on. All right, what else do we got in here? We're shorts deep. It says there's supposed to be $300 worth of product in here for 100 bucks. That's number one. What do we got in here? A bag. The bag holds a rope, just a rope. There it is, freaking, what am I gonna do with a rope? Hang myself for doing an unboxing video? Here you go, you're a collaborator. Go ahead and hang it from the pull-up rig. All right, so I've got the little rope off of the big rope. There's no instructions in this, but I don't know, maybe it's a dog toy? Am I supposed to work out? Holy fuck. It's not heavy enough to be a battle rope which I am a fan of, I like paddle ropes. Maybe you can do pull-ups and shit with it. Oh no, let's see. It's kinda slippery. 
And I do one of these, but then I'm not even really doing pull-ups anymore. And then that hurts. Um, somewhere out there, the inventor of the games box is watching me do this. Like, you're not using the rope right. Well, you didn't send me fucking instructions. Actually, you did send me instructions. Let's say how to use the rope. Rope. There we go. The Monster Rope is a portable fitness rope that delivers the perfect full body workout. The added weight resistance factor allows you to burn five more times more calories than the standard jump rope by using more muscles. That's rad. Oh, it's a jump rope. All right. Good thing I look at the freaking instructions. So it's like a drag rope. Oh my God. All right. Ha! Harder than a drag rope to do double unders with. Fuck it, let's go. As far as these single unders go, it was kind of challenging. Will it burn five times as many calories? I doubt it. That's right. Am I glad I looked at the instructions? Yes. Can you do double unders with it? Not if you want to save your toes, your shoes. Does it have a purpose? It depends. I probably won't use it all that much, but if you're an at-home workout person, you might use it quite a bit. All right, this is a big white thing. Let's see what do we got in the big white thing. Oh boy. Um. Oh dear God. Well, it says Gaines box on it. It's got a little, oh, oh it, okay. It looks like a food. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's for food. And I would never use this because you gotta clean these things out every day just to bring your food wherever you go. Well, number one, I don't really leave the garage all that often. If I do need to get food, I'll go inside and I'll microwave it. But yeah, there's just these little things. As far as Tupperware in the goes, I fucking hate Tupperware. I will most certainly not be using this. I have like 400 shaker bottles. All right, closing it back up wasn't as easy as I thought it should have been. But there's no chance that I'm just gonna like sling this thing over my shoulder, go anywhere with food in it. I have seen people who like this sort of thing, maybe fill it with pre-workout, maybe fill it with protein, maybe fill it with creatine, I don't know, steroids. This is my steroid pouch, who knows? Like a kangaroo with my steroid pouch. Got my Dianabol in here and my Anivar in here, I don't know. God, I wish that was easier to close. Myself personally, no. What does the little piece of paper say about it? It's the lunchbox set. Premium food carrier, housing three stackable containers, making your meal prep easier than ever. Features an adjustable elastic strap for easy carrying. Elastic means stretchy, doesn't it? This isn't stretchy, it's adjustable. Does it say adjustable? Adjustable elastic, uh, I guess I don't know what the definition of elastic is. That's thing number whatever, four, three. What else do we got? Here we go. I know I mentioned a drink, here's the drink. Cowbell, what do we got, what is this? Let's see. Don't waste your workout, make a count with Cowbell. With 500 milligrams of BCAAs, 1000 beta Thor HMB, Cowbell provides comprehensive muscle building, muscle repair, and overall recovery in one can. It reminds me of Fit Aid. And just like Fit Aid, while it might taste good and while people might really like it, well, it actually appears to have a little bit more in it than Fit Aid. My big thing with Fit Aid was that it was a recovery drink and there was nothing in it that really seemed to lead to recovery. This one's got sugar, that's good. Sugar aids in recovery. 21 grams of carbohydrates, Hydrates. That's good. 50 calories. That's good. No protein, but it does have leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which are branch chain amino acids. Fuck it. I guess I'll drink it too, right? Tastes like Fit Aid. Mmm. A little different than Fit Aid. I don't know if it's better or worse than Fit Aid. Fit Aid's good. I probably had 100 Fit Aids in my day. So if you're into Fit Aid and you want to try something else, you might like this Gains box. Make a choice for yourself. I don't know. What do we got here? Willow Balm, pain relieving cream. If it smells anything like icy hot, there's not a chance in fuck I put this on my body. It doesn't, oh, wait a minute. It's not open. Ha! <laughs> All right, we're not out of the woods yet. Gotta open this fucking thing up. It smells like icy hot. Fuck that, hate icy hot. People like this stuff. I would smell it anywhere. And the thing that would piss me off the most is when people would be sitting in front of the fan in the summer throwing their freaking icy hot and stuff on there. What's different about this? Willow balm, it's got essential oils, made from natural ancient pain fighting ingredients, white willow bark and heichscum, plant-based non-toxic. So I guess that it is a type 
of Icy Hot that isn't gonna fuck you up the way Icy Hot would if you put it on your skin. So if we were to choose one, choose this over Icy Hot, just because it says that it's non-toxic and Icy Hot makes me think that you're just putting cancer on your skin. I'm traumatized from hand sanitizer. I'm not even talking about it, but there's some in there. Novax Biotech Pre-7, Amplified Pump, Boost Energy and VO2 Max. It needs more L-Citrulline. It's only got 3,000 milligrams. Getting into the maximum effective dose of L-citrulline because this is a commonly misinterpreted topic. Citrulline is found in watermelons and you'd need to eat 1.5 kilograms of watermelon every day to get three grams of L-citrulline though. And that's the minimum effective dose. So to get the maximum effective dose of L-citrulline from diet, you would need to eat five kilograms of watermelon per day to get 10 grams of L-citrulline. Obviously nobody is going to eat that much watermelon and it's obviously not a good idea to begin with because there's obviously far better ways to allocate your macronutrient and micronutrient allotments. So this is why L-citrulline supplementation is actually a very promising and could very well be worthwhile, not just in a performance enhancing context, but in a cardiovascular context as well. It's got 1.6 milligrams of beta. That's good. 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's good. Clinically dosed to maximize performance, but you don't have enough citrulline in there. I sure do like pumpkins, Cotton. I think you need 10 milligrams of citrulline. So to get the maximum effective dose of L-citrulline from diet, you would need to eat five kilograms of watermelon per day to get 10 grams of L-citrulline. Could be wrong. I'll check that out after. Maybe I'm all fucked up here. What is this? Wristbands? How we look? Soap. Daily Relief Soap. Same company as the Balm. It's also got essential oils in it. White bark. It's got that word I can't pronounce. It's got eucalyptus, which I really like in the steam room, so maybe that's just a... This smells pretty freaking good. I'm a big fan of eucalyptus. This is a daily bar of soap. I haven't used soap ever. I can't tell you the last time I used soap. Well, I'll take that back. I used soap when I was in wrestling. Rolling around with dudes and ringworm everywhere. You want to use soap. This thing, I like this thing. Doesn't smell like the freaking Icy Hot. All right, you got one. I really like this bar of soap. If I were to use soap, I'd probably think about using that bar of soap. Got a wristband. That's not even on the list, I don't think. What else do we got? Oh, we have a bunch of these little pre-workout things. Here we go. I was gonna say, I was gonna start talking shit about the fact that they only give you one, but they give you four. So you can make a decision based upon the four different pre-workout supplements that they give you. Or you can do what I do and take all four of them at once because you need that much caffeine to function every day. All right, what else we got? We got a brownie. Oh, a brownie. Trifecta. Fuck. Protein brownie. All right, all right, all right, let's try it. It contains tree nuts, milk, egg, and soy. It's terrible. Don't eat this brownie. I don't want to swallow. Don't even eat that brownie. What we have here, a $200 value. These shorts, I like the shorts. They're short, they're thin. It's not too small, it's too thin. And they remind me of high school, they're great. If you're a female, get born primitive rise booty shorts. They're both 50 bucks. I don't like the lunchbox set, that's myself personally. The weighted rope, I suppose it's got a market if you work out at home. And that's cool, not for me. I already got a drag rope. I got three different heavy jump ropes. And maybe there will be a day where I throw that thing in, but it's not gonna be very regular, not at least in my day-to-day -day life. Maybe I'll give it to the dogs, I'll end up being a chew toy. It's that thick, it's probably something they'd really enjoy. I will not ever be using those pre-workout things because once I find something that I like, you're going to have a hard time taking me away from it. That being said, they send you four of them and you can make a choice for yourself. Uh, I guess I really didn't look at this Valhalla Project 22 a day silicone band. Valhalla Project builds custom memorials of the families of the fallen military servicemen and women and hand delivers them to the doorsteps across the nations. Okay, that's cool. That's this thing right here. I just kind of thought it was a throw-in. It's much more than a throw-in. This thing's cool. Okay. Boom. It's on. Hand sanitizer. Fuck hand sanitizer. You want to see it? There it is. But fuck hand sanitizer. The pain relieving cream. This is the pain relieving cream. You want to see it? I don't know. Maybe you can also look at the back of it but this is not something that I'm at all interested in. I don't have very many reliefs, aches, or pains, and that might be from the, you know, steroids that I use. But unlike that, I am a big fan of this, this soap stuff right here. The only reason I'm a fan of this soap stuff, because like I said, I don't freaking use soap. 
I like that it smells like eucalyptus, which when you go into the steam room, smells really freaking good. It blows your nose out. It's cool that they don't have a bunch of crap in there that's killing people in New York either. You know, the stuff in the laundry detergent that's killing everybody. So good for them. The cowbell recovery drink. Does it taste better? Does it taste worse? Ah, it's just the same. I feel shocked the trifecta protein brownie. That is the most disappointing thing in the entire box. I wouldn't touch that with a 30 foot pole. If I were to eat something that wouldn't be the best for me, that thing better be damn worth it. I'm not gonna touch a fucking brownie just cause it's a brownie. If you're gonna send me a brownie and expect for me to eat the freaking brownie, every bite better be one of the best bites of food that I've ever had in my entire life. That ain't it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten separate items in here coming up to a $200 value. And I liked one, two, three and a half of those. The half comes from the soap, because while I'll never use it, I like the smell of it. And the things that I just don't understand while they're in there, but fuck the protein brownie. The other things I just don't have personal use for. I guess I don't think that that was quite as brutal as I think that it could have gone. As I sit here wearing different shorts and wristbands that I had before, I had no intention of, and I tried to do pull-ups with a rope that was meant for skipping. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for you. Andrew Hiller, out.